Hello, friends and lovers. Welcome back to Hades, a new beginning. This is episode number... Number... Number five. That's right. So we are taking out our fifth run on a brand new save file on Hell Mode. We've already beaten Hades twice. We are rotating back to the sword now. We do not have enough keys to get the fists. Um, but we do want to pro prioritize that now. If you want to glance at what kind of meta stuff we had going on, I'd recommend checking out the last video at the end. That's when we go through it all. We're just going to leave it on... Oh, interesting. Oh, right. Okay, right. Because we died on our first run after beating Lurney. So I guess we can't earn more uh, rewards on the left there. Bounties. I haven't really thought about the bounty system at all in a very long time. We got six on just because tight deadline will stop survival rooms from appearing. Ah, here we go. We are forced to take a boon from Poseidon at the start here. I'm actually kind of okay with that. I do have Athena's keepsake on because with a sword run, when we have no aspects still, we really probably just need Athena's dash. But this is good. So we can actually gift Poseidon to get his keepsake. That's step one. Uncle Poseidon, it's been excellent to it's know been you, It's been excellent sir. to know you, sir. There we go. We got the conch shell. I don't know if we'll really make use this run but poseidon is probably one of the gods that you really really want so yeah we finally get call boons thank god and this is actually a pretty good one this might actually help us with the run because base level sword uh with nothing else is probably going to be pretty tough we really need to prioritize keys it's eight keys to unlock the fists and then it's i think eight more to unlock the rail after you've also done the fists and then once you have all the weapons unlocked, that's when you can finally use the aspects that the game has. Hey, Chaos, first time. Um, the thing is, you really don't want Chaos right now, probably. Uh, I think this is the first time we were seeing Chaos. Plus, kind of just want Athena now. <laughs> Sorry, Chaos. <laughs> chaos is kind of dangerous at this moment. If we were doing uh, anything that might be more cast like I would probably consider it we don't need to gift Athena again it won't do anything besides advance some story and dialogue we did get the dash oh I think I like the epic attack too much here though it's really hard to get epic boons as you can imagine on a save file that doesn't have much from the mirror we could go splash dash and go Poseidon here on the right you could consider it um, you don't really want most other Poseidon boons, is the thing. I know we have the call, but things like Razor Shoals aren't going to be that good if it's only getting applied via the call, I would say. Don't really want Splash a Dash, I'm thinking. I know I'm pausing and thinking a lot. It's kind of just out of habit. I probably don't actually need to pause the game. But pausing the game stops tight deadline from going. It's a good habit to get into if you're trying to either do rather high heat with tight deadline on and uh just make sure that you beat the timer or if you're thinking of just trying to get faster and faster times Feeling stronger. don't even have to call them speed runs you know what i mean but just you know you're trying to get either get the uh i don't think there's an achievement right there's some like special titles around it but that's it is there a speed run achievement in this game i don't know can't remember I'm curious what your hardest achievements were. If I were to guess, what was the last one you got if you got them all? Or maybe the one that you still haven't gotten? Or two. There's two, I think, that are quite difficult. I can't remember if the epilogue is one. It might be. There's the Thanatos one. Thanatos keepsake one, I should say. Where you have to get uh, his keepsake up to... I don't remember what the percentage is, honestly. I think that one's pretty low clear rate because it, it's sort of a pain in the ass. Which makes sense. We have Boiling Blood finally, so lodging cast into the enemies is actually very helpful now. Getting all three into one enemy was not the best idea there. Thank you. Alright, so we got stuck with Poseidon again anyway. Splash Dash would be interesting. Well, it didn't get offered, so I don't think we care then. Um, we definitely, I think I like Breaking Wave either way, even though I haven't been able to use the call once yet. <laughs> I do like his call, though. Um, you don't, I mean, you could take the special still. It'll knock enemies further away. 
Maybe it's maybe it's okay here. Maybe it's fine. It might be fine, honestly. And then later on, maybe we could get things like Breaking Wave too. It might kind of be okay. More nectar. What we need is the keys. Yeah, we're now we've gone we've gotten like halfway down the mirror. There's still a lot we want from the mirror, obviously, but I think I'd rather prioritize getting uh, all the weapons unlocked. A to get a bit more variety between the runs, and B that way we can get the aspects unlocked. We're just gonna need a ton of keys to unlock the next part of the mirror. We're gonna need ten keys. We don't really need darkness in the meantime. We are missing the third death defiance, but. We're probably just going to have to wait on that, honestly, a long time, because it's just so expensive. can't remember. It might be a thousand darkness. Definitely the attack there. Shop, even though I don't have quite enough money. Another palm would still be quite good here. So, I think that's okay. Hmm. I wish we could gift Artemis here, but you can't gift a god while they're in the shop. We've already got Charon's keepsake. Do I actually want to buy a palm here? Second guessing myself now. I can use this. I suppose we will. I think palming the special there wouldn't be a terrible idea. Kinda depends what happens with the hammer. Got you. Try to deflect all the witches' projectiles. Got him. I'll just take that. I couldn't tell you what the last achievement I got was, I'm afraid. I just don't know. I can't remember. We still have the lounge opened up, huh? Yeah, once you get the broker, some of the meta stuff goes a little bit better. Yeah, I just can't remember now. It might have been the Thanatos one. My, but by last, it was still probably within <laughs> like a few weeks of release, honestly, because I was just playing so much. Hey, we got a call, boom. What do you know? Hmm. I think we take the free palm and stockpile our money a bit here. Because I don't hate palming the special. You can see, if you looked at the DPS meter there, that it's actually doing pretty well. The call's just not going to build up quite fast enough for it to matter yet. Maybe if we get a damaging dash, that'll help. No hard feeling. We need, like, a lot of instances of dealing damage to really build up the call quickly. It does scale based on, like, the amount of damage you do as well. But generally speaking, the number of hits will build up the call faster than anything. Okay. Get rid of the witch. Yeah. No P status or anything yet still from the mirror, by the way. Ah. Got her. All right. That went pretty smooth, I'd say. I think we got a decent build. Bit, bit interesting. Bit wonky in some ways. Not exactly... You know, some kind of cookie cutter thing. But I think that's actually one of the better ways to have some fun anyway. 80s is a game that is flexible enough towards players that you can pretty much get an amazing build every time you play. So... I kind of like the idea of just having to make lemonade from time to time. Make do with what they give you. I think we will put on Poseidon's Keepsake here. Just because now that we have his special Breaking Wave, Razor Shoals, all the supplemental boons from him will be pretty good. Pretty solid. Closer to the surface. We don't really have other amazing Keepsakes to put on. We'll probably put on Skelly's Tooth eventually, though. I'd probably prefer Athena's Dash still, obviously. Will we get it? This heat. I don't know after this. Do, 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 pop, 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 pop. I'm trying to think, what's the hardest achievement I've got in any game? Like, official achievement. Hmm. Ooh, that's tough, actually. I don't know. 
like lowest percentage thing. Hmm. I probably don't know off the top of my noodle. None of the Hades achievements are like crazy. None of them are outlandish. We've heard of the ones that are insane. Like what, there's one like uh, the Stanley Parable game or something where you got to own the game for like a certain amount of years or something like that. <laughs> uh, I don't want Hermes's keepsake still. Oh no. Yeah, plus one dash is okay. It's okay. I can't complain really. Here we go. First hammer, finally. Moving on. Finally. Wow, that magma actually dealt a good amount of damage when looking at the DPS meter. Wait, make us. I think uh an interesting one. When I played through Dark Souls 1 for the first time, I was doing it without any additional info from people or external sources or things like that. So if you know Dark Souls, and when you upgrade a weapon, you can like transform it eventually. And I didn't really understand the system yet. So I turned my, I did like the worst upgrade possible on my Zweihander. I made like a raw Zweihander or something. And then when it unlocked an achievement that said like only 5% of players had it, I'm like, uh-oh, that's not good. <laughs> That's not good. Come on, dude. Let's go. Sometimes achievements tell you you did something wrong, right? <laughs> it's just the edge. All right. What do we got here? Some interesting things here, actually. I don't think Flurry Slash is horrible in this instance. Actually, because you can just keep deflecting by holding down the attack button. It's actually not bad. Hoarding Slash would be bad here, I'm afraid. I guess I'll explain why Hoarding Slash is bad in a moment. It's generally bad. I mean, sometimes there's nothing better, so you end up taking it. Uh, but yeah, your attack deals bonus damage equal to 5% of your current obols. There's, a, there, there's like hidden math behind here that it sounds better than what it is, I'm afraid. But we are going to take double edge. Your dash strike hits twice and deals plus 20% damage. I mean, that more than doubles our damage output on our dash strike now. So that's just insane. Like, I mean, that's crazy. That's crazy talk. You know what I mean? I think Flurry Slash could have been, could have been fun, maybe, possibly. But we got to take the best things kind of here. We can't gift Artemis, but we will purchase Artemis. Hmm. Oh, my stars and stripes. Well then, we still have the Poseidon's Keepsake active. Huh. Well, this is actually a challenging decision, I gotta admit. I like the deflect from Athena, so if we do get the swap, then I'm really gonna pray for Athena's dash, but we can't force Athena again. We've used the Keepsake, etc. You just kind of hope that it happens. This would certainly be stronger overall than our current attack because of the crit rate, basically. Hunter's Dash, in the meantime, will add 50% more. So this will essentially be 157% damage if you take Hunter's Dash. But then that uses up your dash slot, you know? I feel like that's the right way to go here. It is interesting, though. It is very interesting. Because we know Poseidon's coming here. I can't get Athena's Dash now. Oh, wow, we got the witches. Probably a good thing uh, then, huh, that we didn't swap, right? I'll just be right here. Oh, no, I took a hit. <laughs> Probably being overly, I don't know, cautious is even the word. <laughs> what can you do? Okay, what do you got? Hmm, we didn't get the stuff that we really want, honestly. Bloodshot is not super helpful. It's not terrible, I'll admit, either. Sunken Treasure doesn't give us keys, but it does give us gems which can be converted into keys. <sighs> There's Rip Current, which is wonky. I kind of feel like Sunken Treasure is more useful just for our meta stuff, though. I don't think we need Rip Current. Um, I don't find it the, it's certainly not the, the, the best boon ever. It's awfully, like, you see how, uh, unoften, ill often, how infrequently we're using the call. So it kind of just feels 
like it's such a minor addition to it. Got 10 gems out of that. I'm not displeased with it. Dio. Okay. Really? Another? Wait. Don't I already have four gods? Athena, Artemis, Poseidon. Oh, no, I don't. I'll be. I'll be. You were discussing achievements. I was talking about Dark Souls. This isn't like an achievement or anything. But when I was playing through Dark Souls 1, I accidentally, again, like I did it without the help from uh, Chad or anything else. Never saw anything about the game prior to that. So I'm just wandering around, just trying my best, basically. God, what's the, what's the name of this boss? Ceaseless Discharge? It's like the boss and the magma or whatever. Um, beside, uh, uh, bleh, Dionysus is a keepsake. I guess we'll get it. We have enough nectar now, I think. We probably wouldn't really use his keepsake almost ever <laughs> in the near future. Oh, no, uh, Zagman. Strong drink, huh? Hmm. It is interesting. But I guess I'd rather get the max health. It's kind of early enough. It's kind of early enough. I'll grab that. Poseidon. Ooh, Eurydice. Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hmm. This is actually interesting, too. I don't think we want refreshing nectar to empower our future boons. It's kind of down to do we gamble or just take... A bunch of palms. It's looking to me like a bunch of palms, honestly. How you been? Two random boons get increased rarity. I mean, palming the attack especially is not super meaningful, but four palms, they're all guaranteed to hit, you know, like pretty effective boons that we already have here. I think that's the best method here. We could have had a heroic attack maybe, but it's only a maybe. You can't hit premium vintage with either of those power-ups, but you can hit Freitas Reflex with Ambrosia, which would probably actually be good. Thanks again. But I'm pleased with this. I'm pleased. Pleased as punch. All right, Ceaseless Discharge. I was doing it. No idea. Never seen the boss before uh, or anything like that. Wandered into it, and I, and when the boss got triggered, I'm like, oh no. So I just tried to run away to the exit because I was like, how the hell do you even fight this thing? And I just stand there, and little did I know, there is a cheese for the boss and the cheese is to run back to the exit and it will like fall down into like a lava pit or something and just perish. Doing so I accidentally <laughs> cheesed it. <laughs> Ocean's bounty. Ugh. Yuck. I kind of don't hate boiling point here. Bloodshot again is it's just not super meaningful. I think that's okay. I think I can take the gems here. We're going to need lots of gems for many things, but one of the things could be, uh, the, 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 Bone Hydra, you look positively smashing. turning them into keys. Smashy. You're not going to, you're not going to get me with a single head slam, Lerny. Not this time. Not this year. Do 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 ba da da da. Ow. Not this time. Oh, something else hit me though. Not this time, you coward. We're gonna save up our call for when the majority of the heads come out. Damn, we actually have a lot of damage, I gotta say. Ah, we got annoying heads here. Trying to wait for them to come out of their little hidey holes. You can only hit them twice, really. No slams, baby. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. 
He's pretty strong, right? I mean, double edge is probably the best in slot. Oh, best in slot hammer for all the swords uh, aspects, except for Arthur. You can get it on Arthur, and it's actually not bad, but it's probably not the best on Arthur. So that's definitely convenient. I do think that if we had taken Flurry Slash, we would have had an okay time anyway. Hmm. I think we can afford to throw on the bony hourglass. Does anyone else have any, like, headcanon about what goes on in this area, by the way? I feel like this this actual area got revamped at some point in early access, and when they did it, and you see all this, like, clockwork stuff going on, I was like, it must mean something. It must, it must be important in some way. There must be secrets behind it. Alas. Ooh, that would be really nice. Yeah, I think we're going to sell Boiling Point for that. I know it's like a temporary buff, but it's going to last till the heroes. And 40% more attack damage is, is... I mean, that's a lot. That is a lot, let me tell you. So we're leveling up, leveling up Charon's keepsake here. I'm back, baby. Hmm. Yeah, we're pretty good on palms. Let's take our second hammer here. There's not a lot of second hammers that are gonna feel amazing here there's like a couple that do a little something but not much you want things that are gonna oh i never explained hoarding slash i'm sorry totally forgot to got distracted talking about souls games of all things right i can explain now um but yeah there's not a whole lot else that will help your dash strikes in particular and that's where we want to kind of amplify the damage the most right Maybe Hoarding Slash will come back. It will not. But we did get the one thing that will probably help us here. Um, Double Dove is actually okay. Curse Slash is okay under certain conditions. I don't think we need Curse Slash. Unfortunately, Curse Slash for some reason does not work when you dash strike. This is kind of a fault of the UI slash not explaining the upgrade very well. You'd have to... If we got Flurry Slash... Then, and then you, I'd probably much higher consider Curse Slash if we had taken Flurry Slash, because then you can just, like, hold down the button and get, like, tons of health back, right? But negative 60% health is, is pretty bad. It's pretty rough, especially when we have Hard Labor on, forced on by Hell Mode, right? For 20% more damage. But Breaching Slash, it works with Dash Strikes and the regular attacks. More Strip that armor very quickly. It's kind of a no-brainer. So why is Hoarding Slash bad? I, I didn't technically forget. I just forgot temporarily. <laughs> so it says it adds 5% of your current obols as damage, right? Which is technically true. Um, but it doesn't work like how you think. That extra 5% damage you're getting from Hoarding Slash does not get multiplied by anything else. It does not get multiplied by your boons. It does not get multiplied by your hammers. Like the 20% damage from Double Edge does not... I think it might not work with Dash Strikes either, but I'm not actually positive about that, to be honest. I can't recall off the top of my noodle. Uh, so what does that mean exactly? So it adds a flat amount of damage to your attack based on your number of obols. So we have 214 now. What's 5% of that? That's 10 damage, I believe, right? 10 or 11 damage. So basically, yes, it would just add 10 or 11 onto at the very end of the attack e damage equation. And take the health now. So, like, how hard are we hitting at this moment? We're hitting for 196 per hit or something like that. Roughly. That's without double edge, like, fully triggering, I think, though. It's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> What's a single hit? 49, 59? But that's with, that's without dash striking, though, unfortunately. So... It wouldn't really do a whole lot in this instance. Plus, you don't really want to hoard your obols. It stops you from spending your money if you wanted to do that. And it might change the, dis the doors you're deciding on. So it kind of kills a lot of different aspects of the run in order to add what is a very minimal amount of damage. The best case scenario for Hoarding Slash is you already have a maxed out save file, step one. Uh, step two, you take Flurry Slash first. Step three, you get Hoarding Slash and start hoarding all your money. And then you can have like a fun, goofy run 
but unfortunately there's just like better builds out there it's not like the worst hammer upgrade you're still sometimes you get stuck with it the bull of minos the bull of minos you mean fate I think my main issue with it is not really the power level of it, but more so I kind of like that there's like this weird niche build around money. I just don't like that it kind of tricks players into thinking it does more than what it actually does. Does that make sense? That's the main thing I don't like about it. But it's hard. They worked very hard to make sure that the UI descriptions and everything was very easy to understand very fluid right it's not easy to make games that look sleek have complex and interesting mechanics that are explained easily and intuitively if you ever played a game like hmm oh god i think i think the the biggest one is gunfire reborn uh you probably know what i mean where a lot of games can get carried away with overly complex descriptions. Yeah, Razor Shoals is okay here. I don't really want to swap the dash at all. Do 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 do. Thank you for coming to my hoarding slash TED talk. <laughs> I do have videos of us using hoarding slash, getting like crazy amounts of money. I think I had like 9,000 or something once. Long time ago. And it's definitely good then, but that required a lot, a lot of luck. Totally forgot to use the the call there at all hmm we do have karen's keepsake on i think we're okay without that we're on chamber 31 you take the arrow spangle the icker is really cheap but we don't really need it oh my d-pad just like disappeared or something hmm i want and need keys i only have one from this run so far but ah, go waiting through a whole room of enemies just doesn't feel worth our time Here's our second Hermes. Dio can't do a whole lot here for us. We have premium vintage already. What was the boon I was thinking of taking from him earlier? Hmm. Don't remember now. We'll take the jams. We'll take the health. This run's looking pretty solid. I'm actually thinking we might not want the second Hermes that bad. We'll take it though. Compared to health. Best thing you could probably get now is dodge percent, I would say. We already have plus one dash. I don't really wish Hoarding Slash was... Hmm, I'm thinking about Hoarding Slash and how the design could be different. I think if it was just explained better, I think it they could probably have made it a little stronger. Because I think the problem is, you look at that, and you might say, that's pretty good, right? I think I also didn't fully explain it. The 5% is based on... Okay. Also, wait. I just realized the 5%... I didn't explain it correctly earlier. I knew something was wrong when I was talking about it. That's why I'm lost in thought here. Bone Hourglass rank up. I got more to say about... <laughs> I got more to say about Hoarding Slash. Don't worry. Um... Trial, huh? Can you gift in a trial? I don't think so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. No, you cannot. Okay, I didn't think so. I think it, uh, both of their trials are pretty easy. How thoughtful, Zagreus. How thoughtful, Zagreus. We don't need the Death Defiance. 
I don't think sure footing would do a whole lot. Eh, we'll just take it because I don't think the cast would do any more than sure footing would there. The 5% damage increase on Hoarding Slash is on your base attack only. So me looking at how much we are swinging for and saying it would be 5% of like 49 or something. Sorry, 10% of like 49. That's actually not even accurate. Because that's already been empowered by our booze. It would be the base damage of the sword, which... God, I'm going to say each swing is like 25. Or something like that. So with a thousand obols, right? It's going to be... It's 5%. 5% of a thousand. I can't do it. I can't do the math quickly. <laughs> yeah, we'll describe strong drink now. That was the other boon we were thinking of taking. Let's take a free palm now. The point is, it's only on the base damage. I think the base sword attack swing is only like 25. So it's just really low. 7% on that. 14% on the special. Hmm. I think I do take that given double edge and everything. I think they could have allowed Hoarding Slash to be a little bit better. Right now, I think it gets taken surprisingly often, so they were probably scared to make it any stronger because maybe players already took it a lot. However, I think the main reason it got taken so much was because it doesn't explain itself very well, and it tricks people. And I hate that. And I hate that. Sorry, I just wanted to show some passion in the video. Yeah. Rah. Come here, buddy. You have a lot of nerve, Hellspawn, but little else. Whoa! Alright. We took, like, one big hit, I believe. We didn't really get the gift. Many of the gods that we want. Yeah, Zeus is actually one of the ones. That we really want to get a gift out for. Because Zeus uh, will often want to make good use of. Zeus and his boons throughout these runs. Pretty soon. Pretty soon. All right. Fun fact, I guess? If you somehow have all of the gods already taken when you reach Theseus here. Hmm. Let me start again. Theseus summons a god that you don't normally already have to help him there. So we summon Zeus in this instance. If you have all of the gods when you reach him... What happens, you might ask? To my greatest what does he do? I'm afraid it's actually not that interesting. He just summons Artemis. <laughs> Artemis is the default, essentially. Don't make me come up there, boy. Hmm. Again, that's not great. We should probably swap into Skelly's Tooth just in case. But I guess for 10 nobles, that's fine. What other hammers uh, kind of lie to us here? Well, I don't know if this one's that much of a lie. There's one that's slightly misleading, I'd say. It is... Ooh, what's it called, actually? Cruel Thrust. We didn't see it offered on the hammers here. But... It says something like your thrust damage has increased significantly. Or something like that. And you might actually interpret that as meaning your dash strike. Because that looks a hell of a lot like a thrust to me, right? Okay, we can gift Artemis here. It looks like a hell of a lot like a thrust to me, but what they actually mean is only the... Oh, yeah, it gives a crit chance, think, I think, too. They only mean the third hit in the combo, which is that. So that's the only thing that gets buffed from that particular hammer, is that third hit. And it's just so incredibly not good. Sword in general, you really don't want to be... Oops, totally got hit by that. <laughs> you don't really want to be using the combo. Especially the third hit, which has a very long delay before it actually comes out. Enemies will often get an attack off before you can actually use it. Never mind actually trying to dedicate yourself to it during a boss fight when you can't even stagger enemies, right? The best way to play the sword is to utilize the dash strikes 
over and over and over again. Okay, my friends. This might have been the strongest run yet. I know I said that about a previous run, and it probably makes sense that it's the strongest. Hey, thank you for this. You're welcome. Alright, there we go. We got the Artemis keepsake. Still have four nectars, quite a which is quite a bit, right? Hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna take pressure points. It should be stronger than support fire, but I actually don't really know. We're not... Our ta attacks aren't super rapid, I would say. Got to keep searching. Dina is down there. Take the money for now. Alright, let's hope that we can get some plus attack here and then we're going to see the sack very shortly after. Baby, let's go. We shouldn't need the Hydra Light. Now, we really want to see the sack here so that we get to carry over that attack damage buff. I mean, we can't control that in any way. I probably say this every single other video, but there is no controlling where the sack appears. It is a roughly 51% chance to get it on the second path, if I remember right. It's been a while since I discussed the numbers, so. And the odds go up uh, greatly for each path after that. Doesn't matter what reward, what door, what number it is, if it has a skull or not, nothing increases those odds. The only thing that actually would increase the odds, I believe, is if you get more small rooms on the way to the big room. That's I that is, I believe, if I remember correctly, but don't 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 fully quote me on this on like the internet forums of the world. Okay, I'm uh that is what determines the percentage chance of seeing the sack. It starts counting how many rooms you've basically been in. It looks at your chamber number. If you look at the top right, I imagine it looks at the chamber. Oh, actually, no. I don't think it fully does. Because then you can actually get extra chambers prior to sticks. Must be chamber numbers when you enter sticks. Okay, I should probably just shut up now. <laughs> you must be hungry. Okay, we definitely don't want the anvil. Hungry, huh? I guess we're just going to take a big palm. You could get the backstab stuff from Athena. And then the health, I suppose. Um, kind of wouldn't hate that. We have quite a few palms, right? Hmm. Yeah. Exposed, please. We didn't get it. Oh, well, shit. I guess I'm going to take that. Close enough. I think we should be fine here. I'm thinking we should be fine. Thank you, boy. Bing. Any other trap hammers? Ones that, like, almost straight up lie to us? Hmm. I don't know. Hey, father. Come on. There definitely are some. You were never supposed to live. You were never Save supposed me. to live. Oh, you really believe don't be, you don't know don't be mad at me because I am alive, father. <laughs> Fastest yet run, run yet coming in, hopefully. I, I thought I would have the dash up by then. I did not. Do, do, do. Come on, hit him. There we go. Using, uh, trying to wait for dad, like, essentially right before he attacks to use, utilize the call, right? That way I don't actually have to, like, stop attacking. And try to, like, dash the moves. Whoa! Little wonky on that one. Oh, really? Oh, God. Father. We're gonna cool off here. There we go. We got rid of it. You asked for this. Come on. Whoa! He like went cruising. 
Something to do with like the knockback from uh, Poseidon there in some way. I'm not sure. There's some wonky physics around that sometimes. Oh crap, I was kind of out of place there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh! Uh, no. Not yet persuaded to go back, I see. Ow! Got him. Blast. Woo! Pretty tough. Wow, <laughs> hey, under 20 minutes <laughs> by 0.13. That was a fun run, actually. It was fun probably because we got, like, really strong hammers, honestly. I wonder how fun it would have been if uh, we didn't get the good stuff, you know what I mean? And a big shopping trip, too. In a big shopping trip, too. Yeah, I mean, the game highlighted the important stuff of this run here. We could have seen chaos early on. I'm kind of glad that we didn't, but only in hindsight. Chaos could give you attack or dash strike damage, which would have been useful, too. If you look at the DPS meter, uh, yeah, the special actually dropped off in comparison to the call there. We were building, felt like the call was building up much more rapidly by the end of it. All right, we get to visit Greece again. This is visit number three, right? Soak it in. We still don't have the fishing rod. So I'm afraid there's nothing to see there. We go, we go, we go. We say hi to Madre. Mother, I discovered how come father led you to believe that I could not survive past birth. He didn't lie to you exactly. So he says. So he says. Yes, we are going to listen to the dialogue. Wait, slow down, Zagreus. What do you mean? He told me you would not survive your birth, yet here you are. How wasn't that a lie? Because he thought it was the truth. The fates appointed him dominion over the entire underworld, but he would never have an heir, so he was led to understand. He never expected me to be born, much less survive. He never expected you to survive? Then, forgive my asking, but why did you? How did you? The fates are not known for making mistakes when it comes to such things. Nyx saved my life, or gave me life, I guess, then raised me in your absence. The fates are her daughters, right? Maybe she persuaded them to go easier on me. She cannot say more. In any case, apparently it took her quite a while to revive me, and by then you were gone. I mean, he could have sent a letter. Nix. Of course she was involved. I only managed to escape because of her. Then she restored my stillborn son to life and nurtured him? And I never would have known unless that child... Fully grown and having learned the truth, defied his father and then found me here. Yes, although we still don't know how come father and Nyx never sent for you. Though, uh, <laughs> let me ask you something, mother, if you please. If you had found out that I was born and very much alive, would you have come back? Would I have come back to see my only child? Had I but known you lived... I would have gladly gone through hell again to see you, Zagreus. Of course I would have. Crash. Well, then, what if... Uh, what if Father didn't want you doing that? What if he didn't want me coming back to him? Or seeing you? Oh no, you're fading again, Zagreus. Oh, whoops. I skipped the last bit. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I was cleaning the gunk around my A button on the controller. <laughs> I love getting reminded of the, these story beats, honestly. As I forget them as many times as I have experienced them, usually. I'm, I say usually. I use the word usually. As many times as, as I have kind of experienced them, it, it's so easy to forget, honestly. All right, here we go. The meta stuff is coming out. I believe the lounge is now open too. So the rod of fishing is essentially free here because we have diamonds and nothing to really buy with diamonds. So we're definitely going to take that. This will allow us to get more meta things as long as I notice the fish, which could be a problem for me. The urns of wealth actually make runs quite a bit easier. Uh... More so than, like, the fountain rooms, I gotta say. 
Hey, the lounge is open. Is this when you first meet Dusa? Yeah, I think you don't see Dusa until Greetings, chef. then. Dusa's keepsake is really bad, unfortunately. We can take a look here. We trade 100 jammies for a diamond. That's pretty bad. We don't actually use Titan Blood at the moment. I could trade a bunch of gems for keys just so that we can unlock the fists. Let me see if we've... Uh... Let's talk to Nyx real quick. Did I talk to Achilles? I can't remember already. We don't want Nyx's keepsake. Hypnos's keepsake is okay. Did we get the, the codex yet? Well, this is the first time we're actually talking to Hypnos. Cheers, Hypnos. Yeah, we'll take the coin purse. We have enough nectar now. No, I still don't have the codex. Interesting. You could get Cerberus's keepsake here, too. I think we're going to wait on it, though. Make sure I have enough for... Whose keepsakes do we need? Zeus. We get just got Artemis. Aphrodite we need. A few others. Now. Don't need that stuff. Nothing here. Prophecies. Oh, I'm supposed to meet people to get a bunch of keys? Oh, I actually didn't know that. Oopsies. Then, I guess. <laughs> that would actually be very useful to me, then. So I guess we got to go and talk to everybody. I think we might exchange most of our gems for keys now because we really want to unlock all the weapons. Feels like slightly wasteful, but what can you do? All right, so let's talk to Dusa. She has been spoken to. We just spoke to Hypnos. I guess we got to talk to Father now, finally. I think we've already spoken to Cerberus, but just in case I haven't. We haven't met Thanatos yet. Thanatos shows up surprisingly late, I gotta say. No other ways to get keys here, really. Can't transfer anything into gems, also. BT -A -W. Um. Yeah, I think we do it. It's a deal. Catholic keys. I think it's the best thing you can do here, really. Um. It will probably end up transferring, like, all... Ambrosia into Titan Blood because it takes a really long time for you to need Ambrosia, like insane amounts of time. Speaking of which, we should probably talk to Megmore. Do I actually want to buy even this here? Hmm, it's actually questionable, or do I just go full on the keys? We just need so many of them. I think we can do without it still. Need more of those, so here. Thank you. I know we're not going to use them immediately, but at least now. The next run is going to be with the fists. Which god are we going to start with? Let's go, baby. We're fisting. We're fisting. Hmm. I don't know, actually, what you do here. You could kind of do a lot of different things. With the base fists. You don't want to gift Skelly, but I'll talk to him, I guess, in case that matters. And that's it. Who else do they want us to meet here for that thing, I wonder? Yeah, Hades is checked off. I'm trying to remember. Who did we not run into here? Thanatos is probably one of them. But then there's three more, huh? We met Eurydice. Maybe Patroclus is one. We already met Sisyphus. Charon's on the list. Uh, Yeah, maybe Patroclus is one. Are the Furies? On the list, maybe? Huh. I don't know. I guess uh, we should probably just make sure, though, that we... Uh... Oh, wow, there's, like, a lot. Make sure we talk to everybody at least once right now, you know what I mean? What is this? Okay, so, yeah, once you unlock the rail, you also get 60 gems. We still got a ways for that. You get a bunch of gems just from completing, like, the god stuff. I might think about it for, like, Athena, at least, but I don't know if I'll prioritize it for any of the other things right now. Hmm. Oh, if you turn on benefits package, you get 450 gems. That actually might be really worth it. This is just from killing enemies. You don't really have any control over it. Plus, it's only Titan's blood. We might want to consider turning on one benefits package just to potentially earn these 450 gems. Ah, fascinating. It would slow the runs down quite a bit. It's a bit dangerous. Probably want to do it soon, though. All right, I've dilly dallied enough. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. You know the deal. If you like the series, make sure you let me know.
I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.